Hey darlings, today I have a pick a card. I love adding these to the channel. Uh, this is going to be in regards to relationships or partnerships and what is coming towards you. So I'm going to show you a card and also a piece of jewelry that goes with it and any other intuitive messages that come while showing them to you. And I'm sure that you'll be guided to maybe several piles to receive messages. Spirit also wants me to label this the perfect match. So that mean that may mean something to you. And remember that this isn't, this is a love reading, but it's not necessarily romantic love as well. Um, yeah, so let me turn this around and show you what I have today. I want to welcome all the new subscribers and I love you guys. All the tam all the timestamps will be down below. I'm getting tongue tied with wanting to talk about this first reading. Okay, that may mean something. Let me turn this around. Okay, here's the image. I was guided to for this love reading. And the jewelry is a brooch in the shape of an angel made, made out of rhinestones. Also, this item was gifted to me from a sister. The colors are highly significant. Okay, pile two of this image. Tree symbolism throughout. The necklace above the image is the world tree on a beautiful lavender satin necklace. There is a surprise element with this one. This was gifted to me from a former lover. Pile three. The necklace above is a handmade necklace that I made, recycling scraps of jeans and other jewels. Heart locket and beautiful star symbolism through both. Timestamps are down below. Can't wait to hear from you all to see how they resonated. Love you guys. Hey, welcome. If you selected pile number one and the angel brooch, this was the picture, then these are your messages. Um, first of all, very interesting that how I'm got my hoodie. I'm not my hoodie, my beanie on. Hoodie, beanie, okay. I don't know with the skull there. Hello, darling Empress Kitty, coming into your reading. Uh, giving me a kind of image of like, wow, like I can't believe she's joining this reading. I call her Empress Sydney. Hello, darling. Empress energy in your reading. Ooh, I love that. This is a ginger cat here. Mm -hmm. She's the sunshine, isn't she, Sydney? Do you have anything else to say? You being the star of the show. Yeah, Auntie has her little elephant here, her heating pad. I'm all comfy and cozy. I've got a storm candle lit. I've got my beanie skull cap on. Like, I just feel like there's a rebirth in a relationship or a... Yeah, it definitely feels rebirth. An ending and a new beginning. A connection, okay, because of this. This is why I say this too, not just because of the skull and, you know, but getting, getting into a comfortable uh, feeling is important. Comfy, cozy, cat, snuggly, I'm comfy. This angel here was a gift from a sister, okay, who is not any in my life anymore, but this was very, a beautiful gift. Maybe she'll see this reading. Maybe she saw this brooch and was like, oh my God, I got to listen to this. Maybe that's what this pile is about. You know, connection, mending, mending relationships, uh, with, with somebody very special to you, a sister. And that's why I say it could be somebody from the past coming back with this brooch, with this uh, divine gift, it's angel, right? Like somebody that's an earth angel in your life, or you could be an earth angel, 
Um, and it's just sparkling with all these rhinestones, you know, somebody that it just exudes a lot of light in your life. A divine blessing, angel presence in your life looking out for you. Um, a divine connection of all the piles, this one most definitely. Um, I feel that like coming together, falling apart, coming together, falling apart, cycles of life. I am so sorry about the cat, but, and now the dogs start barking. It's hilarious. So, um, that was, you know, what I get from the, the brooch there as well. So now let me put my glasses on here. We're going to get some tarot cards to clarify all these other cards, the Oracle cards that I have. Um, and let's read the, what drew you here. Maybe it was the colors that I said in this card, which, you know, I have love notes from the universe here as well, a deck I created. And it's so fascinating that what came out, darlings, I mean, this reading is, pick a card is called the perfect match, right? And now look at how spirit has coordinated these colors and for you to not miss it, like in sync. In manifesting the same thing is what I feel here. The pink energy is about unconditional love. The pink energy that's in the second card coming out for you all. You see how there's a distance between these two trees? But their roots are connected here, darling. Connected in unconditional love. It's like the wheel energy I feel here. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this first. If you want to experience a deeper level of love in your relationship, you must both consciously and willingly surrender to one another. Feel and honor the sacred within each other. Be vulnerable and give yourself up to love each and every moment. In doing so, you will unite in love. You will feel alive, reborn with each breath. One loving thought can create a world of infinite love. Reborn with each thought, united in love, feeling alive, the sparkling, the dazzling, the light here, okay? Masculine, eyes wide open, feminine, eyes closed, in stillness, in meditation, in trust. You know, with the eye open, it tells me the masculine going through an awakening here. Dots are being connected all here, okay? These two hearts are connected at the bottom here. Connected. See that? Like I said, at the bottom here, the roots are connected here with these trees. Let's see what this has to say. The same pink hearts floating all around here. As the seasons of life turn, remember your life and all your experiences are driven by the invisible wheels of love. Life is an eternal ocean and death and rebirth are the rising and falling of the same wave. Attached to every ending is a new beginning. Yeah, it's a rebirth. It's a rekindling of somebody from the past or it's off and on again relationship. That pull that I felt there together, apart. With the, the roots of love are connected here. The web here, that's what spider energy is about. Healing to the divine feminine, by the way. Feminine energy with a spider. Trust in your intuition. Know that you are creating your love story. The web. Okay. Are we going to be stuck? Are we going to stay stuck in webs, uh, energies of the past? Or are we going to create a new web? Feminine energy, creative energy, intuitive energy here at the center of your reading. Okay. <laughs> now let's see what these love notes are. These could be thoughts you may be having or your partner's having, um, sign symbols, synchronicities, things like that. Okay. So let's see here. Let me get comfy. He's my little heating pad, Elefante. He keeps me warm. It's freaking frigid here in Michigan. It is like I got the storm candle lit, but it's also like to even go outside. It's, it's like you're in a snow globe with just the wind is just whipping around all these little bits of snow. You can't look at your phone while you go out and have smoke. You can't do any of that. You just got to do it real quick. Do, 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 do. It's not even worth it anymore. I'm trying to love the snow, y'all, but it's... Anyways. Pink. The best thing to hold on to in life is each other. Audrey Hepburn. 
Mm, that just is such a romantic, old-fashioned kind of vibe. Poetic. Never letting go. Holding on to each other. Best thing. Same color as these two hearts here. The bottom. See that? Synchronicity. Yep. Stop calling them coincidences. You are enough. So, like, I think it's a focus, too, if there's separation in between the couple here to really be, like, um, the self, the pink is the self-care Pouring love into your own cup. You are enough in this now moment. Unconditional love of self is coming through here. Somebody could have some worth issues in this connection. You are enough. Maybe that's what your partner wants you to know. You are enough. Self-worth and confidence issues. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Could be both. Just one of you. Working on that. Yellow energy. Solar energy. Sunshine energy. New beginnings. Feeling confident in your own skin. Somebody's working on that here in this connection. And happy dances of love. Things to celebrate in your life. New beginnings in love. Happy dances of love. I do a happy dance every time I sell something of my creations. You know what I'm saying? Celebrating all those beautiful now moments. Somebody may have some addictions. Okay? And it's a green card, so they're tied around the heart, okay? So self-neglect is coming through, um, self-indulgence, something to do with temptations, okay, addictions, and earth sign karmic has come come out so you could be dealing with an earth sign or they could have they could be dealing with an earth sign there's a karmic earth sign involved in this connection now you'll know if this is your reading as well because i now we're going to get into the tarot okay i'm going to leave these aside here so i know the oracle messages are and let's get into what's on the underlying I haven't shuffled yet, but this is from my last reading that I did. Ace of Cups, that's divine love, okay? Coming into your life, a brand new beginning. We've been talking about these new beginnings here. You created it, spider energy, creative energy. There's a new life beginning, a rebirth in love. All right, what do, we, what, what do we need to tell Pile 1? Future advice in this love connection. Future advice in this love connection. They know it's their reading. They already know. Whoa. Yeah, it feels real chaotic. Yep. It is, it, this one this, this one almost landed in the flame of this candle. This candle every time I light it. Like last time I lit it, I lit my hair on fire, y'all. Like this storm candle here. Mm, five of Cups is on the floor over here in the past. You're processing a lot of emotions in the past energy. It flew over here. It's a chaotic past energy. <laughs> Let me grab this, okay? But it's in the reverse. So, yeah, you're releasing that. All these emotions being stuck and depressed, okay? Fives are about a transformation. Now, what do I got here for y'all? Ten of Cups in the upright right here. Your emotional fulfillment, ultimate happiness, okay? Blessings, love, fulfillment, joy, bliss, all these words contentment the happily ever after i don't know what other words this is future advice rainbow speaks to hope and blessing the lotus is risen talking about these higher forms of love okay surrendering to one another Honoring the sacred within each other. Mm, emotional mm, fulfillment. And it, yeah, there's some big changes coming in the future. You know, she, you know, you know, because you're making your ultimate happiness. Like, it's like your priority. You're, you're like, but, I mean, to go from the five of cups to the ten of cups, you've been doing a lot of work, a lot of shadow work, a lot of processing your emotion, a lot of release, a lot of mindfulness practices. There's a big change coming. The tower. The old life breaking apart. 
a person's flying off this tower here. The destruction. The ending is attached to every ending is a new beginning. Divine intervention with the angel here. The, the, the power from the sky here. Divine intervention. Tell me wh why is the tower here? I didn't look at the underlying energy because I got so excited with this tower for you all. This is the change coming in the future. And it's going to bring happiness. Okay? Because you release some sort of heavy weight from the past. Three of Cups blessing. This is tribe members, soulmates coming together to celebrate union three of cups what else with this tower why page of wands in reverse yeah things have been stagnant or miscommunications or uh imp there could have been some impulsive behavior here with the Page of Wands. Delayed messages. Yeah, I got Six of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Seven of Cups. So, yeah, you've took some time out to uh, reevaluate what it, what it is that fulfills you. What you want to keep in your life. What you want to discard of. What is the fantasy? What is the reality? This card. Maybe overwhelmed by a lot of choices. Somebody's overwhelmed by a lot of choices. Confusion is the Seven of Cups. Somebody's willing to work at something slow and steady, and it's a slow night. Knight of Pentacles. Earth sign coming into the reading again. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We're talking about some reciprocal energy here. Six of Cups energy, again, is a nostalgia for the past, is a soulmate connection from the past. Six of Cups. Giving is receiving energy, reciprocal energy. Six and seven of Cups here. Lots of Cups energy here. This knight is very determined to get the job done. You know, and these clocks in the background, you know, it's like, yeah, this guy moves really slow. Slow, very slow moving energy, but also the trusting in divine timing, persevering, being dedicated, being um, loyal is the knight of pentacles. What's the underlying energy now? Trust in your intuition. Things may be a mystery right now. You could be even unaware of this. Uh, these feelings of this person if you are at a distance from them. Because that's, yeah, and uh, the high priestess always trusts in divine timing. Yeah, you may be feeling really left out in the cold right now with the five of pentacles, but there's those lightning bolts in the sky again. Yeah. You may have been enjoying being single for a while as well. Nine of pentacles. But you're feeling a bit overburdened, or somebody is, with the ten of wands here in the upright. But again, all these epiphanies. Six of pentacles. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there for you all. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, if it was your reading, if you got some sound advice, I think it was really important that you released this anchor, whatever this was, this heavy weight, the emotions tied to the past, some sort of grief. Because it really helps change something in the future here about your happiness. and some, There's some sort of celebration. <clears throat> Within a connection... Somebody was in some sort of disillusionment at one point, but is willing to put the work in. Equal given to to maintain equal give and take within the connection is what I see there. Six of Cups. Okay, so I love you guys. I'll see you all real soon. Reach out to me if you want your own reading. Hey darlings, if you selected pile number two with the Tree of Life necklace and this picture, then these are your messages. Welcome. 
Um, I feel like these messages too are about a rekindling of a connection. Okay, whatever it be a partnership or romance. Okay, um, it came through in the first reading, and I feel like that's kind of too well. Uh, I'm putting on my hat, my skull cap, feeling really comfortable in my own skin and just, you know, the skull speaks to a rebirth, but also like, I don't know, like I always put on a hat or a bandana when I'm like, all right, time to get my big, my, my ass kicking boots on or my thinking cap on or my like gyps, like digging into my like gypsy roots kind of a thing. So, um... Yeah, I don't know if for Pile 3 if I'll have it on or off right now because I'm in Pile 2's energy. But remember, you can check out multiple, the timestamps are below, but you can check out multiple, multiple piles there. So let's talk about this. First of all, the Tree of Life, okay, knowledge, wisdom, roots, growth, right, maturity is, you know, all of this. Um, also... It was gifted to me from a former lover, so it could be that there's some sort of significance receiving gifts from a former lover coming through in this. This reading is called The Perfect Match, okay? Um, and yeah, and this one was gifted, yeah, that way, so could be coming through in this reading. And also the surprise was that the back of this is also, like, for me, I when I received it, I was like, oh, my God, I was, like, so in love with it. I was like, the tree of life, I love the tree of life, you know. And then I turned it around, and I was like, oh, that's definitely who my, who my partner was, like, all about was his favorite band here, the Ween. This is their mascot, the Boognish. So it was kind of like an added surprise. He was supporting somebody, uh, somebody's artistic this, you know, and, and doing this at the, one of the concerts and getting this for me. So I'm glad I still have it as a little memento. Um, and I could add it to these readings cause I'm sure it's significant for somebody out there. I mean, yeah, I know it will be. So, um, and I don't know if I need to go any deeper into that past connection. We shall see if it comes out in the reading and then I will, cause I don't want to, yeah, steer too far off course here. So, um, I'm also going to do tarot cards, um, to get some future advice, especially if like, don't try to make this your story if it's not right. If it is, it is, that's excellent. And, you know, we'll dive deeper into some, uh, tarot cards and get some future advice. Okay. After I get through all these Oracle cards. So here's maybe the picture that you were drawn to. And I just see a highly like passionate connection here. Okay. And you see that they are, you don't, you may not necessarily see that they're connected at the bottom at the roots, but they are definitely connected telepathically, eyes closed and connection up in the crown uh, or the canopy of the tree. Okay. And I see a rainbow. I see even like sun energy, fire energy. Like I think there's a lot of passion within the connection. Um, and emotional connection as well. And clarity coming with that sun there. Eyes closed, yeah. Could be at a distance from your love, but, um, you know, even if you're close, like in proximity, but you're still at a distance from your love. But thinking about your love, all these, uh, these, both these people have their eyes closed. And then the next image, next card coming out is also depicting two trees and a darker kind of uh, coloring here and with this beautiful orange sun again. Sun energy. So let's read them. Every challenge provides an opportunity to discover a deeper meaning to life. Each challenge can be a gateway to something greater. Use your intuitive and creative powers. Many solutions exist. Move beyond fear and you'll discover that there are no limits apart from the limits that we ourselves have placed. Okay. Challenges, obstacles within the connection, but somehow y'all are coming together here is the way that I see it. There's clarity at the center here. Compromise possibly. Okay. Many solutions exist is what this card is saying. Green on the back. Heart healing, unconditional love. 
This one's blue, okay? Passion reignites, and with the, within the flawless patterns of each other's soul, you discover inner peace. You are caressed by each other's love, and this unfolds as endless blessings. Place no restrictions on one another. Be firmly grounded within each other's soil, but allow enough space for your branches to sway freely so that you could so that you can each may dance to the song of your own spirit. And I did notate that up here that they were, you could definitely see that they were connected up here at, in the canopy. And it's saying, you know, your roots are always connected. And so allow, allow space within the connection as well as coming through there. Okay. But there's some sort of passion that's reignited within this connection. Discovering inner peace, the caressing that I heard there, unfolding an endless love. Mm, it, it sounds awesome. I've got the glove here as one of the symbols in your reading. Okay. And it's a white glove. So we could be dealing with somebody that has some very, um, well, let's just, it's about being critical. Mm -hmm. Criticism, critical, wearing the white glove. Okay. Like it reminds me of my mother when she would like check when she literally wear a white glove, but just, I could just see her wearing one and checking to see how much dust is on the shelf. Taking off the glove, the white glove of purity, um, of societal expectation is the glove, but there's also we like, we tend to lose our gloves quite a bit. So some, somebody may have some sort of complacency. Okay. Within the connection, glove. Just one glove. One hand. Yeah, it looks like a very like pure and proper kind of glove. Very Victorian-like glove. Purity coming out with that. All right, what's coming out here? And also, like I find it fascinating that in the first reading that the love notes that I pulled for them matched the colors of their cards. And I was just like, whoa. And I think yours do too. So I'm going to show you. Here's your rainbow color of cards that wanted to come out. And they really do go so well with the colors in this card. Do they not? I mean, how about, and this. Like that perfect match color-coded like I don't, I don't know what that's all about in these readings maybe somebody it'll make sense to somebody know, maybe you guys like to match each other's like you like to go like when you go out you like to match your clothes and shit <laughs> pay attention to the red flags darlings red flags exclamation point there's a lot of playfulness within these connections. So you see these red flags, I'm just saying. We'll see what comes out with the tarot. Playfulness within the connection. Child heart spirit. A lot of flirting and that kind of thing. A lot of passion that I saw within the, the picture of this card here. And like maybe even repressed passions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, playful connection. You light my heart on fire. Woo, I love that. I love that. I love that. I felt, I see it. I feel that fire in this playfulness. You light my heart on fire. Soulmate connection. Soulmate. New beginnings is the yellow card. Solar energy. Feeling confident in your own skin. Feeling confident in this, that this is a soulmate connection. There was some sort of divine intervention at play. Maybe it was about an engagement. It's out here. Also, engagement can mean with these this um, the heart and the and the notes here, um, like engaged, like really paying attention. Um, This person entices you, engages you through music. The, the love language is music. Engagement. 
too. But also, literally, an engagement here. That might have been called off. It's not what you got, it's what you give. Super important. Giving is receiving. Is that a Tesla song? Yeah, maybe. And trust your intuition more. Darling. So, they, that's what they gave you for the love notes. So and now I'm going to get some tarot to see what else is going on in this connection. They gave you eight, so some sort of, eight cards. Some sort of harmony coming into the connection. That's the eight number frequency. My video just didn't screw up. I just got a message. Don't screw up over there. Okay. Uh, Hangman just wanted to pop out. So that means somebody's coming to a new per, uh, perspective. But there is some pause. Some sort of sacrifice being made. Some Yeah, the pause. No movement forward in the connection. But when you come out of that energy, then there's revelations. A new perspective. So what... What's the future advice if this if this is, you know, already tuned into their heart here and I'm talking about their connection? What's the advice going forward for pile two here? With this perfect match reading, the perfect match reading. Perfect match reading. Let's see what came out. The Hierophant. This is a spiritual connection. This is a sacred marriage. Teacher student roles, sacred marriage card. So marriage. A marriage. I talked about engagement, now marriage. With Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. New beginnings. She holds the sunflower new beginnings. She's a leader. She's dynamic and so attractive. Magnetic. Lifts the energy of an entire room. Very creative force to be reckoned with. The witch in the deck. This is a divine counterpart right here. This is two people ready to create a new world. Together. Power couple, it feels. Working hard at it. Eight of Pentacles. Committed to each other. Hmm. What's the future advice here? What are the lessons that you've learned from the past moving forward? This Hierophant says, integrate your wisdom. Like the Queen of Wands, she wears the hawk feathers on her crown. Trust your vision. Highly passionate, high, full of chemistry, mag, like, yeah, magnetism, that queen of wands. Mm -hmm. What else? What the, else is the future advice? Yeah, let go of the expectations from others that came from the past. It's falling over here in the past energy. I got the ten of wands in reverse. Okay? Letting go of that. Some sort of epiphanies have come. See that? From the, the on the top of all those little light bulbs. I'm gonna let go of other people's expectations. This glove. The white glove, the critical people, the criticism. I'm gonna do me. This is my path. This is my truth. I'm gonna let go of some of whatever even the injustice, because justice in the reverse. Here in the past energy. Okay. Could have been dealing with a sarmic, a sarmic, a karmic soulmate in the past here. It's some sort of injustice, in, imbalance, deceit, even justice in reverse. There's that Eight of Pentacles again. That's the Eight energy being balanced. This is like mastering your craft, but like being committed, determined, focused. Grounded energy here. Commitment in a connection. What's the future advice? Slow and steady wins the race. Knight of Pentacles here. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. He came out in the last reading as well. He's sideways, so, you know, maybe sometimes you're moving at things quick, quick, and sometimes you're moving slow. I don't know, but this is a trustworthy knight. It's not a king. It's a knight, okay? So sometimes, like, it's there's with knights, they're learning how to balance, okay? So, like, he could be so work-driven, overworked, by the way, in sideways here. 
Like, not enough play. So focused, so driven on work mentality. Needing to balance work and passion. Make a decision. There's two boats out this window here. Two of Wands. Somebody's in some indecision. A choice needs to be made. Choices in love. The two of wands. Three of cups energy in the reverse. So this is this is a, some sort of overindulgence, over partying kind of a thing, over celebration. And the Seven of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Wands. Okay, what else? What's this? What is the choice about? What is this choice about in the future here? The Two of Wands. Clarify the Two of Wands. And then we'll leave it there. Because I could go on and on and on. I could continue to talk to this there out for you. I don't want to make it too long. What is this decision about? Don't hide from me now. Let's get into it. Let's go deeper. Somebody may be yeah, taking a leap of faith to an earth sign. King of Pentacles. Leap of faith. Do I take this leap of faith? Do I not? And here's the King of Pentacles. Okay, he showed up in the reverse. So we need to be mindful when this person shows up in the reverse. Masculine energy is possibly quite greedy. Got to say it. Um, very focused on work. Maybe over-focused on work. Not necessarily in their emotions when they come out reverse. Meaning they could come off as kind of cold and reserved or, yeah. And very materialistic in the reverse, y'all. Just saying what these are. So, yeah, making it like... Double, like, not to be reckless about decisions. But this could be, like, also, like, because it doesn't have to be in love. It could be about an investor, King of Pentacles. So before taking this leap of faith, really analyze your choices surrounding what I just told you. Shot babies, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And when we know we how we had divine intervention, now we've got the chariot in the reverse. So I feel like there's some, every divine intervention or redirection as we see it is purposeful in this reading as well. I see somebody leaving a situation behind. Eight of cups in reverse. A tower moment coming in. But there's the divine connection I really wanted to see here. I was like, is this a divine connection? We had soulmates coming out. Somebody's doing some healing because of those red flags there. Look, it's right there, the lover's card. Wow. Right after this tower, with in reverse, which is a divine intervention. Earth sign showing up there again, Page of Pentacles. It's a very childlike energy, the Page of Pentacles. In the reverse, again, we're talking about maybe issues just around money and worth money buying happiness things like that are coming out in this reading so anyways i'm gonna leave it there take a break from these readings before i do pile number three i love you all if it resonated in any way let me know i'd like to know how it did um in the comments down below love you talk to you soon bye hey darlings if you picked pile number three and this image right here and these are your messages. I also have this beautiful necklace that I made. Um, so it wasn't a gift. It was something that I created for my business. It never did sell, so I keep I kept it for myself. But um, it's, it's a statement piece for sure. And so I feel like there is some sort of beautiful I am presence coming through here. Um... Like you've been pouring into your own cup and now are coming out with a statement, with an announcement, a proclamation. A, this is a statement piece, okay? And it's around love and there's so much clarity coming with that jewel down there at the bottom, which is in the shape of a star. 
Um, so star symbolism throughout here, which speaks to healing and blessings, divine connections here. And the locket, you know, is always what we treasure, right? So, yeah. And then I used, like, this is the, I love to recycle jeans into my jewelry. And so I was using, like, belt loops for this in this necklace. So recycle, recycling. So recycling lessons, repeated lessons with maybe this person. Or this energy. Um, but all kinds of crystal clarity coming in. Illumination coming in. A statement, right? That's a statement piece. And a self-made, like, because I made it myself. So something about some, some authenticity coming through in this reading just with that choker there. Okay? So let's read the back of this card, and we'll get your other oracle cards, and then I all, that that and then you should know if I'm talking about your particular situation. And remember, you can look at multiple piles there too. Timestamps are below. But then I'm gonna, then I'm going to clarify some future advice with my companion tarot, and see what other messages want to come out. So this is the image that first drew you to this pile, or possibly that necklace. Within each of us, there is yin and yang. Feminine and masculine, passive and active. To have inner harmony, strive to balance all aspects of who you are. To align with your true nature, love, accept, and embrace yourself totally and completely. And that is that, like, I am presence that I was feeling. Like, doing the work on yourself to be whole before, you know, diving into a connection. But this one is kismet. This one is, like, destines. This is the healing that's happening uh, individually is also bringing in this beautiful connection. Opposites attract even kind of connection. Okay. Being completely authentic and that drawing in what your heart's desire is. Okay. Purple energy, all kinds of purple energy here. Okay. Even in this next card, you get two heart and soul cards. But that dark purple energy Every relationship goes through changes, but this does not mean that the love is gone. Let this be a time of reflection. Some adjustments, adjustments may be needed. Perhaps a new purpose needs to be discovered. It may feel cold and lonely, but beneath the surface, the earth is warming to the promise of spring. In the meanwhile, express how you feel, gently, lovingly, and honestly. Let yourselves be vulnerable and hold each other tight. I felt that authenticity that was coming through in, to begin with, um, being really compassionate with your partner at this time, or with your own self if you're not with somebody, okay? Be more tender, be more gentle, loving, honest with yourself and others. Let yourself vulnerable and hold each other tight. Be vulnerable. Yeah, because the moon is here with one of my um, oracle cards. And the moon is about illusion, okay? So what are we hiding? Um, what are our fears? But the moon is about our emotional body too. What emotions we may be hiding. Moon in another aspect is about illumination, darlings. And that's what I talked about too. Some sort of clarity coming in. The moon illuminates. The moon's about intuition and receptivity. Femininity. I just feel like there's a lot of unsaid truths in this connection. And I say that because, yeah, it could be a long relationship where it's gone through a lot of ups and downs. Okay? Every relationship goes through changes. There's a lot that's hidden is what I'm saying when the moon comes out. And because... It's what I'm saying. It's what I'm saying. It's what I'm saying. I don't know. Like, somebody say that. Like, it's kind of bugging me that I'm even saying it. So, what is that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It drives me nuts. Why am I doing that? Look at this stack of cards. Like, in pile one and pile two, pile one had like six maybe cards. Pile two had eight cards. I think you have 14 cards here. 
Like you've been patient in a situation, card 14. But that's also a five. It's time for a big change. So let's see what all, and these are like what your, what your thoughts are, or what your partner's thoughts are, or, you know, what they're not saying, what you want to say. Love notes from the universe. Let's get into it. There's a lot of them. There's a telepathic connection here. There's that purple that runs throughout here. Telepath. Telepathy. When you're thinking about this person, they're thinking about you. A divine connection. This person has been daydreaming about you or you've been daydreaming about them. There are some lies and betrayal involved with this connection. That's what the moon was about. I see some sort of illumination, some sort of truth coming out. You are the cool breeze, like a breath of fresh air. A sigh of relief. Hmm. It's just a sigh of relief that somebody's coming clean. Healing is occurring. Healing. Heart healing. Unconditional love. Green. Y'all are like two peas in a pod. Kind of looks like that here, doesn't it? So you're great friends too. So that's what I'm saying. You don't you like you like hanging out with each other, even though you're opposites. I feel that opposite attracts. So one of you all is having some sleepless nights, thinking about the other sleepless nights. Could be the divine masculine, divine masculine healing here too. Cheese. What an odd thing to come into your reading. Cheese. Maybe this person is very cheesy. Their humor. Cheese is also a great offering to give of which I'm saying I love fucking cheese. There's many varieties of cheese. Cheese, what's that about? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of questions you have. That's why all these cards are coming out too. There's a lot of questions. Somebody's having a change of heart. As soon as a the spiral there, it tells me that there's some sort of repetitive pattern that's happening within this connection as well. See your own patterns. I'm your huckleberry. So that's like, I'm your ride or die connection. You know, Val Kilmer saying that in Tombstone. It's just, you know, I'm your huckleberry. Your voice is my favorite sound. Okay, so by now you know if this is your reading, okay, and yeah, 14 cards, right? Yeah, so a big change coming. What is the moon card trying to tell us here, I wonder? I just think it's about all the unsa uh, like unspoken truths. There were so many cards that came out there. What is the future advice for pile three in this love connection if I'm talking to them? I'm talking to their hearts. What do they need to see? What do I need to tell them about? Show me clearly, spirit. Sure enjoyed these readings today. Yes, I have. Yeah. I forgot to show you to begin with that the magician was on the bottom of the deck because I looked at it before I hit record to see what was the underlying energy. So a brand new beginning in love. Magician. Card number one. With six of cups energy so it could be a, fl a flash from the, like that's that whole like this could be a connection that you had for a long time and then you guys parted ways and now you're coming back together again six of cups soulmate connection giving is receiving energy six of cups what else childlike presence there It's like a, a connection that nourishes the child's heart. Childlike energy with a magician energy as well. C 
seeing it being new today. This is a new day for our relationship. This is a new beginning. Seeing through the eyes of the child. What else for the advice in this connection here? Wow. Okay, so that's past energy that just wanted to come back into the present here. Four of Wands connection. This is the 1111 card. This is a sacred ceremony, a gathering, a celebration, a marriage. So, yeah. When I look in the mirror, I see you connection. You're pro you've had to process a lot of, there's a lot of cups here. Five of cups. And the Queen of Wands is here in the past. Energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. The witch in the deck. I do believe she came out in the last reading as well. Letting go of some sort of maybe new new beginning from the past there. Future advice. Make sure you process all your emotions as well. Five of cups. Five and six of cups. So you may feel like like it came gave me the six of cups and then it gave me the five of cups. So you may feel like you keep backtracking, like get Two steps forward, three steps back, kind of an energy. Here's a, a balance coming into a situation, darlings. Justice card, card 11. Could be dealing with the Libra. Balance in a relationship. That's the sixth number here. With the Six of Cups, too. Yeah, I like seeing that. There there has been some delays because these two were reversed. But these sometimes these delays in our life, too, are caused by our own mental blocks. Okay? Like this person here was feeling quite overburdened. Ten of Wands in reverse. But somebody's releasing their expectations um, and the stagnation that was there. Some, something's coming in here with this justice card to balance out a situation. Another six. She can't make this shit up. Six of pentacles. Charitable donations. Giving is receiving kind of energy again. A rebirth and a connection. The death card. A reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> Y'all suck. Y'all suck elephant dick. That's all I gotta say. I don't wanna have to I don't wanna have to sing any more of that, but that's what came out. <sighs> Five of swords behind that. Four of cups behind that. So I don't know, like, this is a connection that hurts so good. I don't fucking know, man. Like, I'm over it. Like, I can't believe I haven't seen that. That's, like, reminds me of my parents' kind of energy, that song. I don't even know. Like, that's a 70s song. I'm feeling ancient and old sitting out here, crone energy. Anyways, there's a lot of sixes coming out here. With that justice card, I feel like there's a lot of balance coming into this connection because it is, we're leaving behind whatever this Queen of Wands represents for you. Whatever this was in the past, it flew on the past, on the floor, was in the irreversal. So somebody, energies of being passive aggressive, possibly, unmotivated, lackadaisical, what other, promiscuous, yeah, and a brand new beginning here that's super balanced, where you feel worthy in a connection, because it's reciprocal energy, both giving, receiving, Right? It's balanced here. All this stagnation with the Eight of Wands reverse. It's because somebody's letting go. They're processing their emotions and letting go of other people's expectations. I feel good now. And they're reunited. Because <laughs> somebody's walking out of a situation where they, it was like mental abuse, even. I'll say that with the Five of Swords. It can very much be that. Where they felt trapped, where they felt defeated. There's several fives out here. And the four of cups was a depression as well. So healing is occurring. I had that out here in the green card, right? Where a lot of clarity, illumination is coming. Okay? All right. 
<laughs> I love you guys. I'm getting out of here. I need to take a rest. This was a great, great pick a pile today. <laughs> Elephant and I love you. Bye.